<laughs> What's up guys, I'm going to show you how to set up your controller for the PlayStation 4 for Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, this is, took me a while and if you've played you might have just dealt with it, I did for quite some time. And then I came up across a few videos and tweaked a, a few things to them. Um, this is how I do it, alright? So, first of all, what you're going to want to do is go to... Uh, I think it's system config. Yeah, system configuration. Go over to button configuration, and you're gonna take your draw. Okay, the def by default it's draw weapon lock on. You're gonna change that to draw sheath weapon. All right, this is really really important. You're gonna change that to draw sheath weapon L3. Whatever button you want, really. Or with the R3, but I, I like L3. So you're gonna go over your character configuration and go down to crossbar. So, cross hotbar, that's fine. Sharing. Sharing is the big thing. So hotbar doesn't really matter. I don't use them. You might tweak it and use them. But for the crossbar, I simply just share 7 and 8. And what that is, is no matter what class you are, what profession you have equipped, the gear and stuff, it's going to have seven and the bar cross hop bar seven and eight are always going to be the same no matter what you are. All right, you're going to go down to cross and you're going to enable the cross hop bar, always display it, which that's personal preference. Um, display hop bar help and all that stuff. Uh, hold, which means you have to hold down R2 or L2 to use a skill. Toggle, which means you press it once and it holds it down. So if you press it once, you can just press the buttons. Uh, and then you press it again and like press X to target something or circle to cancel and all that stuff. Mixed, you can hold it down for, uh, I think, let me see if I'm not mistaken, you hold it down, you can hold it down for a second and it's fine. But if you tap it, it locks. So if you tap it, it locks. If you hold it down, you can let go and it lets go. But if you tap it, it locks. I much prefer... Uh, the hold. I prefer that. That's personal preference. You can do whatever you want. Hold is the best. Um, D-pad on the left always and then triangle and then you know the same with that. Or you can do L2 is D-pad D-pad. L2 and R2 is D-pad D-pad. It's whatever you want to do. It's all personal preference. That's all it is. So if you hold down R2 this is just going to be triangle triangle and stuff like that. You'll, you'll see what I'm saying. But I like to leave that default. Okay. So after that, um, we're going to go down to, uh, yeah, save that, and then system configuration, controller, uh, lots of stuff we got to go through here. Make sure everything is right. Uh, touchpad, left click, it's whatever you can do. Personal preference there. All right, and then we're going to go down character configuration again target here we go okay so first you want to you can keep all that the same target filters that's all up to you filters enable when cycling uh, when it, while sheath while sheath okay this is the way we do it when your weapon sheath you're gonna do whatever you know that's basic interactions so you want to be able to target everybody alright when your weapon is drawn you don't want to be able to target people you know, because you have the party window for that. If you're a healer, you can press up and down. It automatically goes to the party window. Left and right, however, will cycle through targets on the D-pad. Uh, so you just want it to target uh, enemies, aggroing enemies, duty specific enemies, NPCs. You don't want to target anything else. You can go down and do this if that's that's personal preference there, honestly. But I don't like that. This, I like. This is very simple. Uh, when your weapon is drawn, you're attacking. And when your weapon is sheathed, you can do whatever. So... Uh, with your character, you want to um, auto sheath weapon. You want to take that off. You want to take it off. All the other stuff is, you know, um, that's pretty much personal preference. Let's see. And then the cross hotbar custom. Okay, so when you go to the hotbar settings and custom. The way I have it set up is enable expanded controls and I have R2 and L2 or L2 then R2 the same one because I have a really big problem with 
not really thinking it through and sometimes I'll press one before the other when I think I'm pressing the other combination on the clear stance mid rate or something like that or use a big cooldown like my instacast res on somebody that's not dead so I just have it the same so you have eight additional skills and I save those for cooldowns I'll show you in a second okay so that's how I have that set up enable auto hotbar switching when drawing or sheathing weapon yes when your weapon is sheathed you would just want seven or eight so again when your weapon is sheathed those are the two you're gonna save that's that's gonna be your walking around interaction and stuff like that okay when your weapon is drawn I do one and two because honestly with one and two and then the six right which is eight additional you really don't need that um, none of this other stuff is selected okay so here's here's what happens so when you're walking around you only have seven and eight shared and they're the only ones that can be used when your weapon is sheet so when my weapon is sheet these are the only two that can be used right here and you can see I've got my basic one. and the reason I have protect here is because once I cast protect it auto unsheets my weapon because I've used a skill and being a white mage conjurer at this point <clears throat> that's that's perfect okay so I sheet my weapon and because there's only seven and eight you can just tap R1 when you tap R1 it switches between the two and this one is just my mounts and some random bullshit for whatever quests and stuff alright this this is where you're going to use your teleport and your sprint, your emotes, and you know, and generally on one of the windows I'll have like um, emotes that I use commonly like a wave or something like that, something simple. And as you can see I've done poke and dance because I was just recently doing the self quest and I needed those on my hotbar because I don't really like to use the keyboard for anything but talking in FC chat. Uh, so I've got my mounts here, and then when I press R1, I've got all my quick um, my quick menu op, uh, you know, options. Again, I've got protect on here because once I cast protect, uh, it automatically unsheaths my weapon, and you know, even as a DPS or a tank or anything like that, it'd be good to have your opening skill for that. Like me, I probably should have cure on like R2 and X even on this bar that way if you know well this is black mage I'm sorry um, though I have the uh, protect on here for solo so if I was a white mage or you know a black mage you, know, you want to open up with thunder so you might want to have thunder on your R2 and X you know so you open with thunder or whatever you open up with even as a tank R2 and X on the sheath menu and it's going to automatically unsheath and you can see when I hold these two down, I have raise because that's a cooldown I don't use. And this is just a macro here that's nothing. I was testing some stuff out. Uh, so no matter how I do it, it always comes to those eight. Those are your big cooldowns. Those are the ones you're going to use rarely, obviously, as a black mage. I only use raise if I'm like if I need to. Uh, so you can press. I don't have any skills here, so let's go to. Let me show you. Uh, let's just take back in and put that on number two okay now I've got a skill there so if I just tap R1 it'll go back and forth between these two bars and generally you don't really need you know that many skills you really don't you don't use that many skills in your rotation as you can see I've, I've still got four taken up with auto attack sprint teleport and return I don't need that I've got two sleeps I've got one normal sleep and one focus CC sleep which if uh, you don't know anything about focus CC you should check out my other video so there's that and uh, you know when you sheath your weapon it goes back to you know walking around and doing stuff and you know your quick menus so you don't have to press the options and go over here and go over there you just you have it right here and you can press R1 you can set up more if, there if you want you can uh, you know and it's always going to go to uh, the 6 here so that's that's uh that's not shared that's because I'm a black mage so if I use my cooldowns on any other person it's gonna be something different uh, I'll show you let's see oh, I still have that on hold I need to change that uh, so let's go to character and then we'll change to my conjurer 
All right, so same, same, but when I unsheath, I've got my conjurer skills. And when I go like this, I've got nothing there because he doesn't have any cooldowns. He just has these skills. So there you go. You can just tap R1 to switch between two skills. And the way I have it set up, I have a main. This is not him. Uh, I've started on a new server with a buddy. The way I have it set up with my main uh, white mage on my other server is the normal bar, the auto unsheath, uh, so it goes to the bar number one, cross out bar number one. That's my healing. It's my healing period. It's healing. That's it. Nothing else, no attacks, no nothing. It's just my healing skills and my healing cooldowns and stuff like that. And when I press R1 to go to bar two, that's more if I want to try and DPS for like ads and stuff like that. You know, I'll have a few attacks on there and, you know, like uh, regen or regen, whatever you want to call it. And then like medica and a, a heal or two. But that's it. And then clear stance will be on the cooldowns. So will my short cast uh, well, swift cast, rays, and all those other good things, uh, they'll all be on the, the cooldown, the, the um, cross up bar 6. So there you go. When you sheath, you got your walking around, do to do, do bullshit. When you unsheath, you've got your battle stance. <clears throat> that way, you know, instead of having to cycle through here manually or... Uh, you know anything else this is the the best way that I found to use the controller to its maximum potential you get um, let me change this crap I think it was here no it was in the other one you get the maximum potential out of this out of your controller you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about uh not having all your skills on your bar or Two bars, which is eight and eight, sixteen, 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 is thirty-two. So you've got forty freaking bars, forty freaking skills. That's all you need. <clears throat> Later on down the road, on my other character, I also move six to being shared, and on my six, I also I just have all my loadouts, so all my character loadouts right there, and you've got sixteen. Uh, even if you use all the crafters and some some classes, you know, you don't need to change to them quick. Uh, you can just simply go to your character screen to switch. You know, if you want to switch to your the other gear set, so you don't need them on the hot bar. A lot of people like to put them on the hot bar, but I figure 16 of them on the hot bar that's plenty. And then I'll move six to being shared as well once I get those classes up. Uh, five, I kind of save for miscellaneous bullshit on each character whatever I want to do like especially for the pet classes uh, uh, the summoner and the arcanist I'll have five and that's where his pet commands will be like obey and stuff like that and you know heal and shit like that that'll be on number five four and three I'll set up for PvP and I'll go in and manually change from it toggling between one and two one on uh, the unsheath, I'll change it to being three and four, and I'll have those set up again. PVP healing and PVP DPS, or however you want to do it, and then you just, you know, you just go in and manually change that. Because me, when I start PVPing, I PVP for a long time. I don't like do one round of PVP and then go to PVE. I'm either doing one all day, or another all day, or if I do one. For most of the day, and I switch, then, you know, it's pretty simple to switch to that. It's just the settings. You just go over, character configuration, cross out bars, share, uh, custom. And uh, you just unclick one and two, and click three and four, four when weapon is drawn. And, you know, when you get to that point where you want six, even if you want five, if you want four bars shared, there you go. There's five of them, you know. And... It's pretty simple, uh, but it really, really does help out. It helps out a lot. So, like, when you're fighting something, you can't, when you press right, you can't really target other stuff. See how I can target people now, but when I'm unsheathed, I can't. I just target NPCs, which I don't think it's even supposed to do that. But there you go. And then when I sheathe, I can actually target other people. But if they're in my party or my alliance... 
I can just press up and down on the D-pad, and that cycles through players as a healer. It cycles through your party window. So if you press up, it's going to go to the bottom of the party window. If you press down, it goes to the top. And then obviously, you know, whatever you press, it's going to move in that direction. Uh, another thing to keep in mind with playing with a PlayStation 4 is if you hold in R2 or L2 and you get ready to attack, a quick way to cycle through enemies, you can press left or right on the D-pad, but that cycles through a lot of things. You can see I'm just pressing right on the D-pad and it's actually targeting that guy up there. But if you hold in R2 like you're about to use a skill and you just press R1 or L1, it will only cycle through enemies. So let's go over, let's go over this way. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I know there's only two here, but you'll get the gist of it, okay? So if I press R1, I'm just tapping R1, L1, R1, L1, R1, or L1. It cycles. That's what it does. And if you sheath, then now I can press uh, the D-pad to uh, target my, my Moogle as well. If I unsheath, I can't. But if you press R1, it actually switches targets. With this, it does like a soft target. So I can hit him. And then I can hit him. So it like soft targets him. With the left, you see how it's not uh, above him. And if I press R1, it'll actually hard target to him if I need it to. Um, it's the same way with healing. If you're healing somebody and you want to keep them as your hard target. So I want to keep him as my hard target. Well, I go over to this guy and I attack him. It goes right back to my hard target. And I can cast Cure if I need to. I can press left on the D-pad, right on the D-pad. Uh, whatever to get to the target that I want to attack. Attack him. And it goes right back to my hard target and I can cast Cure. Unfortunately, I can't Cure that guy. So he's just going to die. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Um... The the touchpad, uh, it's best in the settings uh, to have it to where if you press the right on the touchpad, it cycles right through the options. And then if you touch left, it goes left. Because if it's so easy to tap left twice, tap left one extra time, and then you miss you miss your, your things, and then you press it again, and it'll go backwards one to go back to where you're trying to go. In case you cycle past it, because that's very easy to do. I think that's pretty much it. Um, you know, it's pretty, pretty fucking simple. So, there you have it.